for this video, I decided I should do something special. Something stupid. Something that I would probably regret committing to. I decided I wanted to see if I could beat Bloodborne cosplaying as this dude. Away! Away! A torch only run has got to be one of the dumbest ideas I've ever had, but I chose to do it anyways. Also, since this is supposed to be a challenge, I won't be using the cum chalice to farm blood echoes this time. So first things first, I had to get the hunter's torch, because the first torch you get in Yarnum only does 8 damage and you can't upgrade it at all. So I went on to cheese Father Gascoigne using a glitch. He'll run up the stairs and do his jumping attack where he'll slam down onto the pillar that's right in front of me and fall off the map, then... Wait. What? I genuinely have no idea what happened there, uh, the AI glitched and he just died out of nowhere, but you know what, I'll take it. I went on to get the Hunter's Torch, upgrading it, and then discovering that you can't put Bloodstone Gems on it, so this run is gonna suck even more than I thought. But now, it will actually do some damage, and I'll have a viable weapon. It was time to take care of some unfinished business and kill the Cleric Beast. Another discovery I made with this run is that if you talk to Alfred before killing the Cleric Beast, you can summon him for that fight. Pretty crazy that 8 years later I'm still discovering new things about this game. Now it was at this point in the run I realized that the torch has no rally potential at all, which means if I take any damage I can't just attack and gain some health back like you normally would in this game. Just another reason of why this run sucked ass. I did use a few oil pots for this fight for a little extra damage, but I decided not to give myself that advantage for the rest of the run, so this will be the only time doing that. Obviously having Alfred there to help kill the Cleric Beast made it much easier, but I was gonna need all the help I could get. The Cleric Beast really isn't the hardest boss in the game, but with the torch it was way more of a challenge. I then killed the Blood Starved Beast to gain access to the Upper Cathedral Ward and get the doll dress so I could sell it for an easy 35,000 blood echoes. I then leveled my character up, focusing only on Vitality and Arcane, as those would really be the only things that would matter in this run. Now on to Vicar Amelia. It was at this point in the run that I realized this video wasn't going to turn out the way I imagined it. Turns out spamming L1 and doing as little damage as possible just isn't that entertaining to watch. So let's cut forward a little bit. Amelia wasn't that bad because she's weak to fire and pretty easy to stagger. And real quick, a cool little tip for the Witches of Himmuk fight is if you enter the boss arena with zero insight, then the enemies that would normally spawn won't appear and you'll be able to kill these annoying bitches in peace. Something I noticed in this run is that when you find Runesmith Carol, her body is in the same position that the victims of the Loathsome Dung Eater are with their hands bound and blood on their lap. An interesting little detail that makes you wonder if the Dung Eater exists somewhere in the Bloodborne universe also. Then I discovered this full auto cannon on my way to the Shadows of Yarnum. It's just a funny little glitch, but imagine if you could move this thing around the map. That would have been amazing. I'll be honest, I got stuck on the Shadows of Yarnum for quite a while. This is one of the fights in the game I struggle with a little bit, and using a fucking torch didn't seem to help at all. But I didn't give up and say screw this whole video like I should have. Nope, I kept trying and trying until eventually I beat them. Using only a torch in this game makes it so much more difficult, I can't even explain it. You have to play the game the opposite way that it wants you to play it. Normally I would be rushing in and stomping him out as fast as possible, but you have to always play so defensively with the torch, and it can be really aggravating at times. Then you remember that nobody asked you to do this, and you are doing this stupid challenge for yourself, and then you get even more angry. Let's do some fast forwarding through this run, otherwise this video is going to be like an hour long with how long each boss fight takes. So I killed Rom, then the one reborn, Mikalash, and Murgo's wet nurse. Now with the nightmare finally slain, it was time for the really hard part. It was time to kill the old dude in a wheelchair. Garman gave me a lot of trouble. Normally, I'd just parry him over and over again until he's dead, but oh yeah, I decided to only use a torch because I'm an idiot. Beating him legitimately took me over 30 tries. I used so many blood vials from dying to him over and over that I ran completely out of vials. 
I had to stop fighting him and go farm for more of them. And even then, the 23 vials that I went into this fight were the last 23 I had. This was it, all or nothing. I was not gonna go farm for more blood vials. I cut out bits and pieces of the fight because this fight alone was over 14 minutes. I assure you that you really aren't missing much. I mostly just cut out me getting my shit kicked in by an old dude with a peg leg. I cut out a lot of this video out actually, mainly for the reason I stated earlier. It is because it just wasn't fun to watch. Whatever boss I was fighting would attack, I'd dodge, then spam L1, then rinse and repeat. But the Garman fight was different honestly. While fighting him, it kind of felt like him and I were doing this dance back and forth, especially in his second phase. I'm gonna shut up now and let the rest of the fight play out for you guys to see, because it's kind of beautiful. I was down to my last blood vial at this point and my heart was pounding. I was so nervous because this was the closest I had gotten to beating him. And then just like that, I did it. I actually fucking did it. I beat Bloodborne only using a torch. And it was kind of boring. For anybody wondering what my final stats were, I ended the run at level 90. I really only leveled up Vitality and Arcane since the torch only scales with Arcane. I also had a plus 10 Hunter's Torch for the fight with Garmin, and I cannot tell you how stupid it felt wasting a Blood Rock on a torch. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like and subscribe. We're almost to 250 subscribers, which is honestly insane to me that there are that many people out there that like my videos. And you can check out some of my older videos too. If you like this one, then you'll probably like them also. And lastly, I want to start uploading videos of other games as well, not just Bloodborne. Don't get me wrong, I'll always make Bloodborne content, but I want to branch out a little bit, probably mostly other From Software games. This Torch Only run was a real challenge for me, and I think I just kind of got burnt out on the game after forcing myself to complete it. Anyways, thanks for watching.